everybody, you know, the former players to have that big group up there and we have all our official visits. Uh, there were 1,500 people, maybe more at this. And we've seen our team show flashes of being somewhat dynamic. And it was nice to actually see moments of that against somebody else. And Mercer's good. They've been good for a long time. Craig and his staff do a really good job with their program. They have talented players. I thought the arms, and some of the arms they threw in the second game were really, really good. And so were the, the guy that started against us last year that opened the game. The first game today, he's a good left-handed pitcher. I don't know how many lefties they ran out there, but they have a lot of competitive good arms. And I, I was pleased with the at-bats. And you can have good at-bats, and then you add in some of the physicality. And Jamie Burleson, our guys lifted, I think, 110 times with him last year, and we're right on track again. So you see guys that have grown, have developed, have gotten stronger. They've harnessed a little bit better approach. And you know, I'm not saying this is a finished product, but it was nice to see the capabilities of the guys when it, when it came together for them a little bit in the, in the first half of this thing. Just having that, that depth of power, how much of a luxury is it? And when you get into the regular season, how much do you feel like it will just keep you guys in games no matter what? It, it definitely helps and allows you to open up games. And it, it gets in people's bullpens. And then it exposes maybe the, the back end of the bullpen and just it makes you more potent and more difficult. And the left-handed side of it and the right-handed side, that balance is what I always like. And we're close and Max Williams has had some really good at bats in the preseason and he was he hurt his foot sliding the other day he's going to be fine but that's another good left-handed bat it's a huge part of the offensive game it's and I told him after game one that was exciting and fun but it's that's not the only way we can think we're going to have to compete to win games like the base running and obviously the defense and then you you go to the pitching side of this um I thought Leiter was in command and control of what he was doing. thought he and Noah Short, I know there's a big gap in between those outings, but those two seem to really take hold of, of their outing. Um, Jamie Arnold, clearly not, not what we had seen tonight, which was a little unusual because I was expecting that to be better, and he will be. We, did, we didn't want to extend anymore, I thought. Dorsey had, you see the stuff, you see it. Holtz came in and threw that breaking ball. That's a metrically phenomenal spin breaking ball that he throws, his curveball, and he did a nice job gobbling up two innings. I thought Tejeda, you know, he kept the ball down, and it's three pitches. It's competitive. He's still learning. We're going to figure Gavin out. You, you don't see guys roll out throwing 100 miles an hour. You just don't see it very often, and it's right here. Uh, we have to figure out. The, I, I told him there, that – cake is going to be baked we just have to to get the ingredients we have beautiful ingredients it's now putting it together and, and getting that thing in the oven and trying to cook it right and I don't know if it was a lack of confidence in attacking the zone or just if he was so amped up that he that he couldn't manage it but you know clearly he has to evolve past that and the talent is there you're talking about a 90 something mile an hour little slider and a good change up and a hundred mile an hour fastball so we're going to harness that but clearly it needs to be way better than it was today but i was overall pleased with with the effort when you watch a pitcher how much of it is i want to see you battle mix your pitches and how much of it is i'm thinking about what that guy's role might be in a competitive situation in february are, are you th that far down the road yet i'm not yeah. i'm not now it creeps into my mind at times more you know at night when you're when you're sitting there reflecting on what happened you start to do a little bit of that but it didn't cross my mind today it really I just wanted the guys to go out and get in this setting a little bit and pitch against somebody else and I just wanted to see the the mixture of the stuff um, and there were flashes of it it wasn't across the board probably good enough today but Again, it's the it's the first time some of these guys have ever been on this mound against another team, and I do expect there to be some some growth from this to the next time that occurs. I, I know you want these games to feel like a real game that that have a, a true meaning to them. Just the intent seems like the guys play with a lot of fire early on, especially. Just how pleased with you were you with how intense they they, they played? I loved it. 
man, it was one of the best VPs. I've been doing this a long time, and it was one of the best batting practices that I've seen a team take. And Ty and Brad threw, and they do a nice job throwing it, and that clearly helps things. But you could sense, and I told him, I told the coaches when we went in the locker room after VP, I said, that's one of, if not the best batting practice I've, I've seen. Just the focus. I'm not talking about where these things went. I just mean the intent to do what you're supposed to do with your rounds of BP. Very good. So they were locked in. And you guys have been out here. These practices are not always easy. And that's, are we five weeks into this now? The fifth. So it is fun when, when somebody else shows up. And I think that adds a dimension that we cannot create. It was awesome for the marching chiefs to come out and play the national anthem. They're going to be out on the field tomorrow before the game. That's neat. Uh, they play in here. If they have a lightning delay, we open up Hauser and let them find some shelter underneath where they can continue to practice safely. And it was neat for them to offer to come out here and play the anthem. I thought that was really cool. This started for me at UNC Greensboro. A gentleman named Jim Isley would play by himself with the trumpet. And when he cranked it up, it was neat by himself. So to get the band out here, I, I thought that would be neat. And um, they did a little fight song. So the atmosphere, I tried to create something that feels like the spring. And I thought it was very close. There were 1,500, 1,600 people here. Thank Thanks, you guys. Mike.